It is my pleasure to host the talk by Kaio Yin. Kaio is a second year master's in language technology student in uh, the Language Technologies Institute at CMU. Uh, she works with Professor Graham Newbig and uh, her work is on machine translation and uh, on processing signed languages and on ensuring uh, equal access to language technologies for speakers of different and signers of different languages. I hope I didn't misrepresent any of it. Yeah, thank you so much for the introduction. And um, thank you for having me today. Um, I am very delighted to talk about uh, current efforts that we have to understand, improve, and evaluate context usage in context aware machine translation. Uh, so the works that I will present today were done with my colleagues, uh, Patrick, who is also on the call, with Danish Pruti, Aditi Chodari, and my supervisors, Andre Martins and Graham Newbig. Um, I prepared like a brief like slide to introduce myself. I guess I can skip that because Maria did such an awesome job. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, so to start off the talk, I wanted to talk about why we need context during translation. And so let's take a look at this example first. Here, what does the word mole refer to? Well, if the previous sentence was, things could get, start to get dangerous if the ministers find out, then mole refers to a spy. But if the previous sentence was, could it be anything serious, doctor, instead, then mole refers to a birthmark. So depending on context, the meaning of the word changes, and therefore its translation depends on the context as well. Current neural machine translation models are reasonably good at sentence level translation for high resource language pairs such as English and French. So for example, we have a popular provider here that can correctly translate the sentence. However, when the context changes, the correct translation here should now be cette grande beauté, but the model does not pick up on the change in meaning. And current models often fail to produce adequate translations on a document level when there are ambiguous words that require context to resolve. Another example uh, of ambiguous translation we have is for the neutral English pronoun they, where since they in this sentence refers to implications, which is a feminine noun in French, then the translated pronoun should be the feminine elle instead of the masculine il. To address the difficulties in document level translation and the importance of context, several methods over the last four or five years have been proposed to incorporate context in neural machine translation. And this includes feeding the contextual sentences to standard neural machine translation models by concatenating them to the input or using different encoders for the context or using cache-based memories or models with um, hierarchical attention mechanisms. But even with the necessary context, uh, these models perform poorly on translating relatively simple discourse phenomena, uh, such as anaphoric pronouns, and they often do not perform much better than their sentence double baselines. So as an example, um, in this example, it refers to report, which is a masculine noun in French. So the pronoun should be the masculine il. But here we have a context the word uh, machine translation model that incorrectly translates it to l. And to try to find out why the model made this error, uh, we can take a look at which tokens the model paid the most attention to, which we highlight in yellow here. And we can see that the model pays high attention to the word infirmary, which is a feminine noun when translated into French. And it does not pay much attention to report or rapport, which may explain why the model made this error. In general, we find that context aware machine translation models are often attend to uninformative tokens in the context, or they do not use the information that is contained in the context at all. So in today's talk, I will be covering three of my works that try to understand why existing context aware machine translation models seem unable to use context adequately. So in the first work, uh, we measured context usage in machine translation by calculating the model agreement with human annotations. Then we improved our model by supervising attention. And in the second work, we proposed a metric to quantify how much models use context. Then we use contextual word dropout to increase context usage. And in the third work, uh, we performed a systematic analysis of what words require context during translation. Then we developed a targeted benchmark to evaluate these models on five types of ambiguous discourse phenomena. And you can also find the code and data supporting these three papers uh, on this link here. Uh, 